Suppose you know that today is Wednesday and you get a bill that's due in 90 days unless that 90th day is on a weekend, in which case it isn't due until the following Monday. So you need to know what day of the week it will be 90 days from today. Right? So one way to do this would be to get out a calendar and count forward 100 days, but that's going to be long and tedious and error prone. So uh, another way is to rely on the fact that days of the week repeat every seven days. Right, so if I divide 90 by 7, I get 12 plus a remainder of 6. Right, so 90 equals 12 times 7 plus 6. That's telling me that 12 weeks later, 84 days will have passed, and we'll be back to a Wednesday. Right now, at that point, we've got six days left to go, and six days from Wednesday is a Tuesday. So what our argument is saying is that the value of 90 days is equivalent to the value of six days, given that the, the values, that is the days of the week, repeat every seven days. Right? This idea that a number can be equivalent to its remainder is what we call a congruence. So this definition makes formal our previous example. We say the two numbers are congruent to each other modulo some positive integer if and only if they have the same remainder when they're divided by that integer. So in our previous example, the modulus was 7 and the values of a and b were 90 and 6. So since both of those numbers have the same remainder, when they're divided by 7, we can say that 90 modulo 7 is congruent to 6. Right, this, is, this is the general method that we're going to use to determine if two numbers are congruent. Right? We calculate the remainders when divided by the modulus and then compare them. If the remainders are the same, then the numbers are congruent. Otherwise, they aren't. So now that we've got uh, a definition to work with, in the next lecture, we're going to look at some theorems that illustrate the properties of these congruences.